Hi Lily, I was wondering, can someone catch epilepsy like a cold? Hey Maya, that is a great question. Well, first of all, I know that I can catch a cold. Actually, anybody can catch a cold. But I'm not too sure about the answer to your question, so I invited my special friend Elle to help me. Elle, can you catch epilepsy like a cold? Hi, Lily, and hi to everyone as well. Um, my name is Elle, and I'm a physician assistant. And in my job, I have seen and helped lots of people living with epilepsy, Lily. You cannot catch epilepsy like a cold. It is not contagious. Oh, what's conflabulous? I mean, I think that's a new word for me. Contagious? It means that something is spread from one person to another. It is important to know that you cannot get epilepsy just by being near someone who has seizures. Oh, okay, I got it. Some people are born with epilepsy and it is a part of their life. Oh, 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 that's like me. I was born with epilepsy. That is correct. And many kids develop epilepsy and we do not know the exact cause. It could be because their brain is just more likely to have seizures. And sometimes the reason might involve genetics. L, what is ge genetic? Gen genetic? I think this might be another new word. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good try, Lily. Genetics. Try it after me slowly. Genetics. 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 That was, that was perfect. <laughs> Genetics are the instructions for how our bodies look and work. These instructions are inside each of the cells in our body, and they determine things like our eye color, our hair color, um, and some of our genetics are passed on to us by our parents. Oh, so some people may be living with epilepsy because of their genetics. My grandmother has epilepsy too. Could that be because of genetics? Yes, that could be, Lily. Some people may develop epilepsy because of genetics, like you. Other reasons people may develop epilepsy are if they got really sick with an infection, for example, or if they hurt their head badly and then started experiencing seizures after that. Oh, so there are lots and lots of reasons why someone might develop epilepsy, but most of the time we actually don't know the reason why. But I think it's so important to know that you can never catch epilepsy from someone else by someone else giving it to you. Like, um, I couldn't give it to my friend Fatima by playing outside beside her, right? That is right, Lily. So to all of our friends out there, if anyone you know tells you that they are a person living with epilepsy, the best thing you could do is to play with them and be a good friend the exact same way you did before you learned about their epilepsy. You could even learn seizure first aid to show that you really care. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Al, for coming on today and teaching me that epilepsy is not contagious. <laughs> I learned so much from my friends and it's so great. Oh, and thanks to Maya for such a terrific question. If you have a question that needs answering, message me on Instagram or send it to my email so we can all learn together. Bye, bye. Bye, Lily. Bye, everyone.